Hi, I'm Dirk Mueller and I'm with Coherent. I work in strategic marketing in Coherent. And my role is to translate uh, market demands out in the world for industrial applications into requirements for lasers and subsystems as well as tools. And I'm standing here in the middle of our diode pumped solid state laser systems where we have some nanosecond laser systems to the right of me here and some uh, ultra fast laser systems to the left. Uh, the ultra fast lasers is a hyper rapid NX a picosecond laser as well as our Monaco which is a femtosecond laser. So now let me say a few words about what the applications might be that you can service with a femtosecond laser. Somewhat niche several years ago, there are now a few, about a handful of high volume manufacturing applications where femtosecond lasers are being used. One of them is, for example, for drilling off injector nozzles. So these are very, very small orifices that are about 200 microns or so in diameter, and the quality of the hole is uh, imperative in order to get very good uh, gasoline distribution in an um, engine chamber. So this laser is ideally suited for this type of application. Another application in the medical space is the cutting of stents, where you're trying to cut very, um, very thin metals or very thin polymers that are extremely fragile. And because this laser emits femtosecond pulses that don't generate any heat, it is ideally suited for the production of these medical devices. The third category that this kind of laser comes into play is in the semiconductor world. And it's used for uh, dicing up semiconductor wafers. So after the production of a semiconductor wafers where there are many, many dyes, many chips on one, uh, on one big wafer, uh, you have to scribe these wafers uh, before you break them. And the layers that are on top of the semiconductor are extremely fragile, brittle material that are very sensitive to thermal load. And the femtosecond laser can address those concerns because the pulses are so short that they don't generate any heat. Let me say a few words about applications where nanosecond UV lasers come into play. And one very large field of applications is in the microelectronics world. So in the microelectronics world, we drill holes into circuit boards, or we cut flex circuits or drill holes into flex circuits, or we machine uh, some ceramics. So different uh, materials that are uh, generally absorbing really well in the UV range. So uh, the UV laser is an ideal solution for machining these types of materials. What the UV nanosecond allows us to do is to make very small feature, for example, drilling hole sizes down to 20 microns or sometimes even smaller without any uh, thermal damage to the um, outer part around the hole to the periphery, as well as no thermal damage underneath. The matrix laser, which is also a nanosecond UV laser, can uh, also come into play for marking applications. So these would be applications where you want to make a, a mark on a part, but uh, it's very important that you don't cause any damage to the part itself. I would like to share with you a very unique application for ultrafast lasers that is somewhat new. We call it Smart Cleave. It's a technology that's, that can be used for cutting glass and it uses ultra-fast lasers, uh, like in our portfolio, like a picosecond laser. And what's really unique about this technology is it can uh, cut different thicknesses of glass, and what we're showing here is a thickness from starting from about one millimeter thickness up to 10 millimeter thickness, as well as relatively complicated contours. So what you're seeing over here are some inner contours, so they're inner cutouts that we can do in a single cut, which is something that uh, ordinarily you would have to grind out, which is very labor intensive, uh, time consuming, and also requires um, a lot of uh, uh, like cooling liquids, uh, consumables. But in this case, it's a very clean laser process where uh, just sweeping the laser beam across the contour that you're trying to cut can give you the, the cuts in two dimensions and three dimensions, inner cutouts, outer cutouts, as well as curved outer dimensions.